What are you doing here, Hopkins? Get out! Oh, what was that? This is a disaster. What should we do? Good idea. Oh, this is extraordinary. Hmm. Fascinating. Most precarious. Reckless. Mmm. Messy. Oh, pardon me. Apologies. Excuse me. I say there. Of all the nerve. That's really too much. I'm all askew. This is a dither. Careful. Enough of that. I say, I'm not General Patton. Do I look like Jane Mansfield? Now, see here. If this were Pompeii, we'd all be dead by now. You're denying me exodus. Oh, I say. My kingdom for a horse. I'm like the late Roman Empire. <laughs> now come with me, you little scamp. You really aren't any Moriarty, are you? Let's see what Mr. Crabblesnitch has to say about you. Feel free to think about the right punishment for your actions. Let's go for a walk, shall we, Mr. Hopkins? <sighs> Here we go again. Very interesting. Well, I have some tests to grade. Quite. Mustache, the History Channel beckons. Yes, well, it's time to video a documentary or something. I summon all staff to an impromptu meeting. Oh, really? This experience must be shared. You shall never escape. I have you in my grasp. Now see here. You know I can't get you there. Come out of there this instant. Fifty years of smoking is starting to catch up to me. But if the bourgeoisie really intended to overthrow the aristocrats, the Spanish fleet was better armed, but the English ships were faster. Four score and seven years ago, if the plutocrats had the army in their pockets, then the sales representatives, the Swedish meatball is small, while its Italian counterpart is large. When the barons forced King John to sign Magna Carta, they didn't know. Now listen, this just isn't cricket. What on earth has this academy come to? I see. No, I'm afraid I don't, actually. Congratulations, old boy. My heartiest support. Quite. Q-E-D. Well, I'm not sure who is thicker around here, the faculty or the students. Crabble Snitch was always a brown noser to the parents. Even I'm afraid to see what Edna keeps in the meat lockers. Is Galloway on the tip again? It looks like the various student factions are at each other's throats again. Have you heard that Mr. Hopkins has some kind of master plan for the school. I heard Burton spent his summer torturing cats, as usual. You hear that the carnival has been sold to a new family of inbreds? I've actually heard that it's Edna wearing the mascot costume. I've heard that Mr. Hopkins is going to dispose of everyone he doesn't like. I've heard the town folk are going to burn us all at the stake. Mmm. Yes, interesting. Yeah. You don't say. Fascinating, I'm sure. I can't believe I got Necker mixed up with Turgot. When I first read Les Miserables, I mixed up the French revolutions. Oh, to think I almost let some woman distract me from the library. If only people at Bullworth would talk louder, I could hear them. Terrible. That's a disgrace. Hmm. Awful, I know. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Children today have no interest in the past at all. People nowadays just ignore the lessons of history. Why are people so ignorant today? It really gets my goat that people talk so quietly today. Goodbye. Farewell. Au revoir. You know, I was undefeated in cafeteria trivia games as a lad. I read my first gibbon in three days without sleep. Edward Gibbon, author of Rise and Fall of the Roman Empire. I've never lost a trivia game. My personal library is larger than the school's. Hmm, quite. Oh, yes, yes, of course. I'm sure that's the truth. Do you know what it's like to ride a camel through the ancient city of Petra? Have you ever run your fingers through the ash at Pompeii? Did you learn to read Egyptian hieroglyphics? Have you ever churned butter at Colonial Sturbridge Village? What? You must speak clearer. Enunciate, please. Oh, my goodness, yes. Oh, yes, certainly. What? No, of course not. Perhaps, perhaps. Ye gods. Hopkins! 
Have you lost control of your senses? Has the world turned upside down? What are you doing, you fool? You, my lad, shall be laid waste like once mighty Troy. You are in mortal danger. You will be Montezuma to my Cortez. Fool, I've read the gladiator's guide to combat discovered in Rome. Mummify me so I may live forever. Cromwell, I'm coming. Sing my praises in your songs. Remember the main. I see force of arms as the only way this can be resolved. What this situation needs is a bit of Donnybrook. You, sir, have pushed me beyond my limits. Ugh! New sensation. Don't like it. Ugh. I say, what's the meaning of this? Find his Achilles heel. Erase his historical record. Knock him into history by the hanging gardens of Babylon. Holy temple of Dendera. Excellent work, young man. There now, I foresee a bright future for you. Here you are. Ah, hello there. Um, good day. Ah, uh, um, hello. Now pay attention. See if you could manage to follow along. Mr. Hopkins, your assistant is required. Mr. Hopkins, may I trouble you for some assistance? I say, what's on your mind there? Of all the nerve, most irregular. Do go away. You are the black sheep of Bullworth Academy. Remove yourself from my sight. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I suppose Julius Caesar was a Chinaman. Very good. <laughs> Very good. That little ropes Pierre is going to face my guillotine. <laughs> Oh, bother! I say! Some kind of avian rodent! What is it, Hopkins? Yes, yes! I don't have time for this, Hopkins! What epic tale are you weaving for me now, Hopkins? Hello, Mr. Hopkins! Mr. Hopkins! And how are we today? Well, hello there, Mr. Hopkins! Fear not! I shall assist you, my dear colleague! Ah, most impressive! Well executed! Hmm. Not really worthy of comment, is it? That's what inspires people these days? Philistines! Stop, I say! Get away, you barbarians! Ah, the war games have started! Target practice for the students again! <coughs> what a foul odor! <coughs> what is that odiferous scent? <coughs> hmm? What? Oh. Never mind. Oh, why am I leaving my Michelet for this? I've got primary sources to read. Hopkins, what are you doing here? Come out, Hopkins. You know you shouldn't be there. Hopkins, you aren't allowed over there. Did I just hear something? I'm not sure, but I think I heard something. Am I hallucinating or was that a noise? Get back here, Hopkins. Stop it. This instant, I'm going to catch you, Hopkins. I know you're here, Hopkins. Come on out. You can't hide from me forever. Is that your John Hancock impersonation, Mr. Hopkins? It was ugly in ancient Rome. It's ugly now. You have betrayed your fellow student, you realize. Informants themselves are not people to be trusted. Thanks for the information, but I will never trust you again. There's always someone willing to sell out his fellow student. Observe my hand motions. You are a rascal to be sure. I am making a rude gesture at you right now. As a grocery cashier once said to me, talk to the hand. Ah! You see what I'm gesturing to you? Can you? Behold my gestures! Behold! You're going to witness my fisticuff skills firsthand! You have gone too far! I demand satisfaction! Shall we retire to the gymnasium and decide this like men? I challenge you to a duel! My god, Hopkins, you're dressed like a circus clown! See me during office hours and I can supply you with some barbers! Hopkins, remove that diaper at once! How much did the clown sell that footwear to you for? Employing tea towels? for shirts again, Mr. Hopkins? I'm sure that tattoo will age like fine wine in your skin. Ha! The human omelette strikes again. Well, well. If it isn't Ozymandias himself. Hmm? What? Yes, very interesting. I'm sure you're right. That's nice. If you were 50 years older, you would feel my wrath. Oh, please, Hopkins. I've been teaching here for 30 years. You think I haven't heard that one before, you oaf? You think how ridiculous you sound to a man my age. Don't arouse my passions, Hopkins. You will regret this, I assure you. Follow me, Hopkins. Now follow my lead. Thank you, Hopkins. You're going places. We are not 
not on a spacewalk, Hopkins. You don't have to wear a helmet. A million thanks. Wrong way, you dunderhead. Can't you do anything right? It's this way. What are you doing out? You realize it's past curfew? You shouldn't be out of your dorm at this hour. Get back to your dorm. Come now. Back to bed. That rascal can't hide from me forever. I am going to hunt him down and I shall catch him. He will be found and he will pay. These knaves think they can outsmart me, but they are gravely mistaken. What these rascals don't realize is I have a trophy room filled with stuffed students. Come now, students. Class is beginning. All right, come to class. I have a very stimulating lecture for you. Take your seats, students. Time to begin today's lecture. I'm sure you all can't wait to hear my lecture today. Don't choose the criminal path, young man. You are a Bullworth student. The criminal life is not for you. A life of crime can ruin a young man. It took me years to rehabilitate myself. You know, I was once dishonest myself, and I still lose sleep. I'm trying to help you, lad. Crime doesn't pay. You really shouldn't be here. Don't you know this area is forbidden to students? Get out of here. You aren't allowed. This area isn't for students. You must leave this place at once. Truancy will get you nowhere, young man. Beware the siren song of truancy. Isn't truancy just a symbol for a walk to nowhere? If I could grade you on truancy, you would get an A for sure. Why don't you spend the same amount of energy in class as you do avoiding it? Any kind kind of weapon is prohibited on campus. You know that. You must disarm yourself this instant. Remember your Hemingway. We need a farewell to arms. Give me your weapon. All students practice detente on campus. Stab, shoot, and blow yourselves up off campus. But it's not allowed here. This is surely the worst year of my life. Now what do we have here? 